Hi everybody, it's Dan Lotto speaking and in this video I want to talk to you about how we're generating a client leads for £6.79 per lead. Hey everybody, it's Dan, just off to pick up the little one from school. So, let's talk about lead generation, because that's pretty much what we do with our digital marketing agency. Um, some of what we do is about content, and specifically the content doesn't necessarily generate leads. But without the content, you can't generate leads. <laughs> it's kind of like this catch-22. So, on one of my other businesses, uh, where we buy businesses, um, one of the people um, had been on the website and loved the website, okay? And the website gets updated, it's got regular news. They then went on the Facebook page, and the Facebook page gets updated, and it gets updated with content, okay? So it looks current, it looks like we're adding content all the time, and because of that, they're able to take that forward, and we're now in negotiation with them. So, without content, you kind of can't close, but just content on its own, like it definitely helps, and it will lead some people to selling, but you want a more direct method as well as content. And we like to do both, to be perfectly honest with you. So we want to do Facebook um, adverts, we want to do Google pay-per-click, but if you're just doing that, people are going to check you out, and if you haven't got any other content, then it's not really going to work for you. Uh, but let's just talk about the lead generation that we're doing for this particular client. Obviously, we can't say too much what it is, what the lead type is, what the lead source is, and so on. But um, the client came on board, we created uh, the entire sales funnel from start to finish, including follow-up emails uh, and so on. And a lead for us, this bit is really important if you're thinking about using a company and they're going, well, we can generate leads. Like, what is a lead? What does that include? And you have to agree on what that meaning of the word a lead actually means. Because I've had conversations with Facebook marketers and they're talking about generating hundreds of leads. And when it came down to it, they were actually on about website visitors. Well, a website visitor is not a lead. A website visitor is a visitor. A lead, for me, I've got their name, their email address, and their phone number. They've opted into something because they need a particular problem solving. That is a lead. We've got the email we can follow up using um, follow-up sequences. And we've also got their name so we can, and their phone number so we can pick up the phone and go, hey Bob, I know you just downloaded our form, was there something else that I can help for you? Do you need a quote? That is a lead. A lead isn't somebody who's just been on your website, because where's the phone number? What? And this was the argument I had with Facebook uh, advertisers, I was going, well, we've got all these leads. And I'm like, okay, what? Get, choose one, pick one. What's the name? What's the phone number? What's the email? And they couldn't, because it wasn't a lead. So, something to get really clear about is what is actually a lead. And it could be that you want a little box on there uh, that says, yes, please call me, and it's only a lead if that is ticked. In which case, you know, you might want to make that an obl obligatory, I can't say that word, obligatory box that someone has to push. It's already, it's already um, filled in. And, and if they uncheck it, the lead form doesn't work. However you want to do that, uh, because this is about generating leads. I have to say from a GDPR point of view, by the way, that you probably can't do that. Um, but the key here is we're generating leads for a client. We've got the name, we've got the uh, phone number, we've got the email address. And uh, every time that uh, lead is generated, it's costing the end user, our client, £6.79. So now we're just ramping up on Facebook ads, and now we're ramping up on Google Pay per Click ads, um, and we're going to try and accelerate some of those results whilst maintaining uh, such a low uh, cost of lead. Now, by the way, six pounds seventy-nine. You might be going, "Oh my gosh, that's so expensive," and then other people are going, "Oh my gosh, that's so cheap." And this is something else that you can't get too confused about because. What if it's a roofing company and a, you know it's twelve thousand pounds for a new roof and it's six pounds seventy nine a lead? You know that's pretty good, right? What what if? Uh, and I'm sorry about the sun. It's so bright today. The sun's really low down because uh, it's winter and four o'clock, I guess. So what if um, you know? What if you're selling donuts at seventy nine pence a donut? 
and it's costing you £6.79 million, which doesn't work, right? So different companies will have different um, lead generation activities. Let me give you an example. So First Direct, who I used to work for many, many, many moons ago, uh, I won't say too much about my uh, working for that organisation, it wasn't the best, um, but they were spending, you know, their cost of acquisition for a customer was about £100 at the time, right, going back a number of years, 20 years, 25 years, but it was about £100 per acquisition. And then they would run adverts on the TV and they'd give you like £50 of free vouchers. I don't think it was Amazon vouchers back then because it didn't exist. Um, uh, probably, yeah, about 21 years ago it probably did, didn't it? But it was vouchers of some kind, you know, £50 worth of M&S vouchers, I think, back in those days. And the reason why they were able to do that is that they knew what their cost of acquisition was. And the cost of acquisition, I think it might have been even £150. Every new client, every new customer, so as long as they can make more than 150 quid, it's worth it. But actually, just by giving something away, by the way, this is the cost per lead, not the cost per acquisition, okay? Not worked that bit out yet. So if you know what the cost of acquisition is, let's say it's 200 pounds, and you go, look, what? hey, Mr. Customer, here's 100 quid, I'll put it in your bank, come and, come and be our customer. There's your cost of acquisition, you just halved it. That's much easier than running adverts. Something else to bear in mind. But you've got to know what your cost of acquisition is, you've got to know what your cost per lead is. Uh, but £6.79 per lead, we're very happy with that, the client's very happy with that for his particular industry. Uh, and when he closes the, those leads, even if he does 100 of those leads, 100 of those leads work out at, um, what, £679, he'll still make a profit on that. Still make a profit on that. So it's not even like you know, he has to close a huge amount of those leads. He can close a small amount of those leads because his cost per lead is so low. But this is what we do, this is what the business does. Uh, we've gone from just creating content, which again, your business needs. You've got to have content because people check you out. If you haven't got content, it's, it just uh, smacks of lack of credibility. And that's why we do it. Continuous content. Why do we do these videos? Continuous content. People want to see that we're here, that we're credible, that we know what we're doing, uh, that we're as good as we say we are, and so on. Right? People want to see that. Um, so, okay, let's let's just move over to a bit of advice then. So, if you're currently marketing, you know you should be asking yourselves a certain number of questions, like how many phone calls are you generating from that marketing each um, month? Okay, and then it might not be just phone calls that you're generating. It could be how many um, how many web form submissions are you getting each month? Um, so you know something like that. And then if you're spending two hundred pound a month on marketing, whatever that marketing is, two hundred quid, but you're generating ten leads, you know your cost per lead is twenty pounds, and you're selling one out of ten. Um, that's fine. You know that you know every cost of acquisition is two hundred pounds. That's how it works. That's how you do that calculation. And it's definitely something that you should become more aware of. And if you're asking somebody about um, search engine optimization, content marketing, lead generation, you want to be asking what's the average cost per lead. Now it can be really difficult. You know, we, we take on a client, we've never done that particular industry, so we're like, I don't know. And that's a truthful and honest answer, we don't know. It could be um, it could be £79 per lead, but if you're selling a £15,000 something or other, uh, and you, you know, you're closing one in five leads, then it's worthwhile doing. But most people don't know this information. Most people, they, you know, they start up their business selling widgets, and they have no idea at all what their cost of acquisition is. They don't measure how many phone calls and track it on a spreadsheet every month. And you have to be doing this. You absolutely must be tracking because if it, if you can measure it, let me rephrase that. That that gets managed. Okay, let's say that that gets measured gets managed and if you can count it you can measure it and if you can measure it you can manage it <sighs> sure that's peter trucker <laughs> management speak 101 but it's true right so you've got to be able to measure everything that you're doing like on my businesses we keep a track on how many website visitors we're getting each month uh, and actually i just sent um a list of keywords to the team. We, we uh, purchased a new business, 
didn't have a website, so we've added a website and it's just now started getting search engine rankings after what, four to six weeks, something like that. And our main keywords are now, you know, number 44, number 55, some of them on the full page of Google. But we, we manage everything, we track absolutely everything, and you should too. Right, we're here at school, so I hope you have a good day and we'll speak to you on the next one. My name's Dan Latter. Take care.